Welcome to the Infinite Surface Podcast, Fat Stacks. Today we're going over The Human Figure by John H. Vanderpool. This is a funny one. I think this is going to be one of our shorter videos because this is one of my favorite anatomy books that I do not recommend. And the reason I like it, let's start with the reason I like it. The reason I like it is because there's beautiful language in it. I really enjoy the way that Vanderpoel discusses and goes over in detail anatomical concepts. Um, he starts with a kind of standard drawing advice and how to successfully build up a figure and a drawing practice and how to be an artist and all this kind of stuff that's so common in most of these books. And he discusses each element in detail, but a lot of that is a verbal discussion, which is useful. But I feel like he's missing a lot of the key conceptual frameworks that have been developed moving forward from Loomis to Hampton to Matisse to all these other kind of things. So it, in this book, we see beautiful drawings. I mean, these, these sketches of features are excellent. They're, they're perfect. And his discussion about... I especially like his discussion here in the beginning where he's saying, and I, I give my students this advice all the time, where it's like you can't just practice drawing an eye. You have to practice drawing two eyes in relationship to each other across a dimensional space, basically meaning including perspective and dimensionality into your study of the eye. So it has to be a form study. And the only way that you do that is to draw the feature within the form, within the context. So it's useful to you know, take a eyeball out of context like this and study it from the profile view, from the front view, from all these different views. But it's really important to draw it in relationship to the other eyes, to the other features. So this is one of the reasons that I think that this book is is not very well perfectly designed because it starts off with things like features and drawing teachers are always going on and on about students not getting hung up on features and not getting hung up on details and this book literally starts off with some of the details so I think that that's kind of a, a, a mistake in formatting it's not a big deal especially if you have the other textbooks to refer to this just then becomes another reference another set of language and another set of absolutely gorgeous drawings i love these lips i love the design of them the way that they're drawn all the soft and hard edges that he uses as we get towards the other more when we get away from the features and we get into more structural conversations there are some useful simplifications but they're just not as systematically gone over as you would find in something like Loomis or even in something like Peck where his sketch pages in that anatomy text, the, the Atlas of uh, Anatomy for Artists, Stephen Roger Peck, it, he expands so much in his kind of sketch drawings like this, right? So we want to see more of that. We need more of that to kind of learn how to build up a figure practice, especially if we're talking from invention. Um, but he has, I mean, these are beautiful drawings to copy. They're beautiful drawings to understand form and simplification. So it's really a valuable book. These angle relationships were really valuable to me and his explanation of how the rib cage and the pelvis and all the bony landmarks fit within, all really useful. We showed this when we were looking at Loomis's book because this planar breakdown is very, very similar to Loomis and seems like a predecessor to the Riley method in some ways. Um, so all of it's really good, right? This breakdown here, this cross-sectioning, this is really important. And it, depending on how deep you're going to get into figure drawing, or especially if you're going to get into figure sculpture, you need to be able to understand this stuff. And the reason is because it's it's a full volumetric understanding. So the best book that gets into this is Elements of Form by Elliot Goldfinger, which we'll review in another video. And that's a really in-depth anatomy book. It's a strict anatomy book. There's very little drawing advice in that book but it does have cross-section advice which is really really useful and that that's really my go-to for if i'm looking for cross-section advice or an under better understanding of the entire volume i look at elliot goldfinger's uh, elements of form so 
if we're moving forward through this book, we see lots and lots of beautiful drawings. Some look like a whole lot like Bridgman suddenly. And we start to get a little bit more gestural where he just starts to discuss some gestural issues. But again, I just don't think it's enough. So really you have some, some beautiful artistic examples in this book. And I think the real virtue of it is the language that's in it. So here we see simplifications, right? We can see the same exact simplification in Bridgman. Um, that one is almost one for one, this drawing for what's in Bridgman. So there you can see him starting to give you more of a system, but that just doesn't happen quite often enough in a book like this. So I think that it, what it does is it has a beautiful reinforcement in the language. And what we're going to do here at Infinite Surface Podcast is we are going to create a series of videos that are called Sleeping with Vanderpool. And this is going to let you learn anatomy while you sleep by listening to a wonderfully read version of all this beautiful text. Because I really think that that's the virtue of this book is how kind of poetically understanding and beautiful the text is. So look out for that, especially because that's coming up, Sleeping with Vanderpool. Um, that'll <laughs> let you learn anatomy while your head hits the pillow. So... Thanks for watching. This is our review of The Human Figure by John H. Vanderpoel. Thanks for watching the Infinite Surface podcast, Fat Stacks, where we talked about The Human Figure by John H. Vanderpoel. Hope you liked the book, and I hope you liked the video. And if you did like it, then please like it and subscribe so that you can get updates on new content coming out from the Infinite Surface podcast. Mm -hmm.